Hi everyone, Brian here from Witch Doctor, and the question of the day is primer pockets to clean or not to clean. <laughs> um, the uh, my interest in this came after a uh, NBRSA short range bench rest match, 102 yard match here in the United States, and. Uh, uh, shooter was uh, basically this season shot really really well in fact shot a couple NBRSA records um, When I chatted with him this was here at my local range at Tacoma uh, rifle and revolver um, I chatted with him a little bit about you know What do you do for brass prep and bullets things like that makes his own bullets chambers his own? Uh, barrels, etc. Um, asked him about brass prep and you know bumps the shoulder 2000 so okay, that's pretty standard um, I noticed, hey, you had noticed you, you don't have any primer pocket cleaners laying around. Well, I never clean my primer pockets, that's why. <laughs> so um, it's been a pretty consistent practice of mine to, to definitely clean them um, after every firing. And when he mentioned that, that sort of, um, you know, made me a little bit curious about that. So I went ahead and decided to go ahead and do a test on that. Um, what I did was I took out my trusty 6BR rifle. Um, haven't shot it in a little while, a couple years, but I took it out and uh, tuned it. Found a pretty good load um, using Bart's 68 grain bullets, 34.2 uh, of N135 and uh, CCI 450 primers, and the bullets were touching the lands basically. Uh, that seemed to have worked pretty well. I was shooting in the in the ones and in twos most of the time with that, so I decided to go ahead and use that as my test. So I took Lapua BR brass. Um, um, and these were already fire formed and I went through and used clean primer pockets um, for for five of the rounds and then left the other five of the rounds uh, dirty and basically didn't clean them I fired each of them ten times to simulate uh, like a, a match like a short-range bench rest match where you would shoot five five shot groups in the morning and then five shot five shot groups in the afternoon to total 10, um, 10 total five shot groups for record. Um, I did use a couple of other pieces of brass for fouling shots because I cleaned in between um, every group. Um, and what I found uh, was that um, these are the groups here. Um, the, the blue line represents clean primer pockets. The orange line represents dirty primer pockets. What I found over the course of 10 firings was um, the dirty pockets did pretty good. They um, definitely showed a pattern where you know they got some pretty low groups. Like this one was in the ones, that was in the ones, low twos. Um, did, did shoot a little bit high here in the threes. First first one was in the ones. Um, the clean pockets showed pretty good. I mean there was some in the ones with the clean pockets for sure. A couple one that was pretty high here though a, a point four. Um, don't know why that was so bad, but and a couple others in the three. So basically, um, I ran an analysis of variance, uh, which basically tells me, is there any difference between clean and dirty um, with group size? And there wasn't. The probability value was uh, 0.975. In order for there to be a real difference, that would have to be below 0.05. Um, so there was no difference between the clean pocket group and the dirty pocket group. The ag for the clean group was 0.2498. The ag for the dirty was 0.2483. So um, actually the dirty just slightly outperformed, but uh, it wasn't large enough for the statistical test to tell me that it was meaningful. Uh, maybe meaningful at a match, but, but not in terms of the statistics here. Uh, so no difference there in group size. Let's take a look at velocity. The average velocity for the clean groups was 3496. For dirty was 3501. Again, that had a p-value of 0.866, so uh, no difference there. You know, velocity was basically the same. Uh, looking at velocity standard deviations among the 10 shots, um, for clean, the average is 8.55, dirty 9.25, p-value above uh, 0 0.05, so not statistically significant. So anyway, yeah, I fired them 10 five-shot groups each, um, looked at group velocity, standard deviation, and found essentially no difference. Um, it looks to me as if, according to this test, um, <laughs> cleaning primer pockets may be 
a waste of time um, if you do so. Um, I, For me, I'm probably just going to continue cleaning them. Um, but uh, this definitely got me thinking um, as to whether that was a necessary part of my uh, brass prep routine. And I think I'll still be thinking about it for a while. Um, okay, well, thank you, everybody. Uh, hopefully you will subscribe, like, and share.